Hey you guys, today is gonna be a video for orchid lovers or maybe if you're thinking about getting into orchids because they're so amazing. I'm obsessed and winter time is orchid, well I guess phalaenopsis season. Right now we're in their phalaenopsis area. We're gonna check this area out quickly. I do love phalaenopsis flowers, but the thing about them is that their leaves are kind of plain. So <laughs> I used to not care about what flowers I got and I just wanted the orchid, but now I'm like, I want to get a flower that I think is really pretty. And look how pretty these all are. But also the thing is, since a lot of the time some plants aren't in bloom, I like to get leaves that look kind of, um, you know, different, like not just green leaves like these, but we're, since we're, he brought me to the Phalaenopsis area, so we're just gonna check these out. They're so, so pretty. Oh my god. And I'm so sorry, but today's video, there's probably not gonna be a lot of, probably not gonna be any timestamps because this would be just too much, too much for me. But oh my gosh, you guys, we're in heaven. That has like purple in it. Wow. Purple flowers, that is so pretty. I think this one is like, like a papiopetalum type of flower. So freaking pretty. I think these leaves are really cool. They're probably just like normal, but they have some like uh, ribbing, I guess you would say. Look at these over here. These ones have some really cool leaves and they're in spike. I actually want to see the name on this one. Foul Bronze Maiden, Silver Leaf Platinum X Sterling Silver. Now these leaves, this is what I'm talking about when I say different leaves are really pretty. I wonder how much they are. Orchids are um, expensive. Look at these leaves, they're just like silvery, pale kind of. Let's see what else we can find. <gasps> Look how cute these ones are. That is so stunning. Ooh, look at this. This one has variegated leaves. Let's see. This is what it's called. I don't know what kind of orchid it is though. These ones have cool leaves. So Cardi, Val. Well, I hope that shows up. Ooh, look at these bronzy leaves. Here are some Phalaenopsis that I'm not gonna choose based on their leaves anymore. This time I'm choosing based on their flowers. Oh, is this like a variegated Phalaenopsis? I would choose this one based on the only. <laughs> How tiny these are. Look at these. Silver Maiden. Gigantia. I wonder how much these are. They're probably so much. I know I'm just showing you guys leaves right now, but they're so pretty. some more here. Look at these. Wow. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next section now. Okay, we're back in the main house. 
And I was just informed that um, Phalaenopsis are the only flowers that you can like force bloom from temperature, which I didn't know that. So here's some more little Phalaenopsis. Here's a little path. It's so cute. I've never seen such a small flower. Let's see what it's called. This is the name of it. I found that like the cuter paths um, are the ones that don't have the model leaves. Look, look at these little leaves. Isn't this the cutest? I don't know what their flower looks like though. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, so pretty. These ones are 35. I like when they have the um, price on them because I feel bad always asking like, oh, how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? It's like, okay. They have some Birkins here for 25. And this huge Hoya is only $28.50. This is a great deal if you ask me. Oh my God. So random in this beautiful orchid house. But anyways, here's some Catlias. In my opinion, Catlias are one of the most stunning flowers. I just look at them. I can't even believe they're real. I can't believe they exist. They're so pillowy, they're so bright and colorful, and it doesn't really translate on camera, but they also look kind of velvety and so soft to touch. Obviously, I didn't want to touch the flowers, but oh my gosh, I was so super tempted. And the amount of different colors and variations in these orchids, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's insane. like these babies are gonna bloom check out this purple dendrobium <gasps> oh my gosh we have to look at the name on this one Mateo blue oh it's supposed to be blue I've noticed that well literally correct me if anything I say is wrong because I am not knowledgeable on this um, but dendrobiums or like orchids whenever they're kind of like purplish they're labeled as blue look at these these are literally like fairy princesses. Oh my gosh, my heart. Oh, these are the silver ones. Wow, 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 wow. I think the flowers are really pretty. Oh, I want one of these. I wonder how much they are. I love the foliage on these also. They're just like little bulbies. These are 28. Oh my gosh, I might get one of these. 
28. I don't know why 28 sounds like a good price to me, but I feel like I've been to too many rare plant shops. <laughs> and now I'm starting to think anything below is 100 is like, oh my gosh, that's a great price. Oh, so pretty. I think this is that, the one that we're looking at right now. Um, oh, by the way, their website is orchids.com, so you can see everything on there. These are 35. Oh, I wish I knew what the blooms look like. The thing about orchids is that if you buy them in bloom, then they're more expensive. But if like if you buy them cheaper, you don't know what their blooms are gonna look like. I guess it's a fun surprise, but if it's really expensive, then it's like, uh, I kinda wanna know what the bloom looks like. This is the the black orchid. I have one. I couldn't get it to bloom this year. It's kind of a more um, difficult orchid for me because it's, I don't know, it needs like really specific care at certain times of the year. But isn't that so cool how it literally has black flowers? I just need to figure it out, figure it out. Try to get mine to bloom. Look at this one. This one is spiked. Okay, I'm confused. This one doesn't have any leaves. So does it spike? No, I think it spikes before the leaves fall off. Ugh, I'm just so clueless. These ones look like grass. I'm also kind of obsessed with like teeny tiny orchids because you can just save so much space. Oh, these ones are blue too. See, they're purple, but they're called blue. I've noticed that on like multiple websites. This one's 48. But wow, are they so pretty. I think this one is like a fully bloomed one. <gasps> that is so spectacular. Look at these. What is this called? Put that back in there. I think this one is this one maybe. And then this one are these for 20. I love how they have the photos. Forty-eight. And this one's gonna look like that. Ooh, this foliage is really cool too. I love the stick looking ones. This one's only 20. And on these things, it even has like, oh, it's a Vanda. Vandas need a lot of light, I think. These ones are 18. Oh, is it gonna look like that for $18? Oh my gosh, I am so there for that. Oh, look at these leaves. They're like mottled red. And this is what it would look like. Wow, this one's 45 though. You get cool leaves, you get higher price. Wow. On this side. I don't know what these are, but they're so cute. They're $25. They're so adorable. Maybe it's this. These are bulbophyllums. I really want a bulbophyllum. $19.95. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
I think this is how it will look. I don't know if seeing these plain leaves will help you become an orchid enthusiast. I need to get everyone on this orchid train. <laughs> um, but I don't know why, even the foliage is so pretty to me. Ooh, look at these. They're like little baby trees. <gasps> this is how the flower is supposed to look. Wow. Oh, this is really cool. These are 35. And I think these are the flowers, which is so pretty. <gasps> I am going to have a hard time picking some of these out. gonna open soon. $28. Wow. So pretty. Look at these. Those are really cool like stems. Look at that. Oh my Jesus, these are so stunning. It's $75 and I can 1000% see why. Wow, okay, these, these flowers are so big. This is my hand compared to the flower. I don't wanna to touch the flower, but wow, there's two of them too. Oh my God. This is what it's called, by the way. This one is 35. This, I think this one is the name of it. Got this one. This one's also 35. These are so dainty. They remind me of little daisies or like wildflowers, I guess. Oncidium Twinkle Fragrance Fantasy. I love these. These are $25. Very different from the other ones, like regular orchids, I guess. Here's some more little paths. Oh, this one is opening. really hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. <gasps> Look at these. That is so cool. It's like yellow, yellow on yellow spots. Oh, this is so tiny. And there's another one of these white leaf colors. This is just one of the greenhouses and you can see how huge it is, how many orchids there are in here. Like there's only two walkways, so I couldn't possibly show you guys all of the orchids. I was there for probably two hours. So this footage is definitely condensed to hopefully show you guys all the blooms. 
and I hope I captured everything okay. My hands are really shaky, as you could probably tell, so I try to get good footage for you guys. small I think I haven't sh like this is a demonstration of how small it is as you can see shalarianas are my favorite I always gravitate towards them and you guessed it, it's because of their beautiful mottled leaves! This orchid had blooms that were on its way out, but I thought the flowers were still so beautiful and I really loved the shape of the leaves. Look at this! Oh my god, I love this one, but for some reason it's in this little bucket. Oh, that is so pretty. BL yellow bird. Whoa, look at the shape of these leaves. They're like perfectly round. And some more puffs. Okay, so I guess these are the Paphiopetalums that are in bloom. And... These leaves are very, these flowers, I mean, are pretty big. Not as big as the orchid before, but I also like these really cute small flowers because it's something different. And the colorful, look at how beautiful these are, the shape of them. Oh my goodness. Wow, these flowers are stunning. I already know. When I go over to edit this footage, I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish I got that, I wish I got that, I wish I got that. <gasps> oh my lord, this looks like a chocolate butterfly. Holy crap. These are just so gorgeous. Papio petal and flowers aren't my favorite, but these are so stunning. Wow. These ones look like little sea creatures. I can't believe orchids are a real thing. Check out these Paphiopetalums. <gasps> There's a yellow one. Ooh, 
check out these paths their leaves are so beautiful like i was blown away by how the patterning of their leaves the coloration but the flowers are just they remind me of bugs they remind me of zombies all right we got the haul <sighs> you won't believe how much i spent here but here we go this one is the most expensive one that i got because of these beautiful leaves and i'm going to put a picture of how the flowers are supposed to look so you can see them and the price because i don't remember the prices um i also got this one and i was looking at it and i was like it's probably browning because it's out like it's dying so he just charged me the like no flower price but it's so pretty it's a little bare and i got this one which you can't tell how it looks <laughs> when it's just like that this one here also and he just gave me this to use for fertilizer for free um here and this one so all of them i'm going to show you the pictures because literally it means nothing <laughs> when you're just looking at these plain leaves but they're so cute and i'm so happy and i had to get small ones like I wanted to get the really big version of this, but I don't have space for that. So I just got this one, but yeah, that's the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.